So in the last episode, we got attacked by a giant spider when we encountered this very strange and unusual underground laboratory for, get this, incredibly miniature people. We just died to a giant spider and now we're stuck in darkness and 480 centimeters, not to be confused with meters away, is all of our loot. Now I have to travel at the most dangerous time to be walking around in the undergrowth. Giant spiders, ants, anything like that can eat me. What? At least there's sap. But at least I have this peblet to use, right? That should help me. I thought I saw movement. I think it was just the water? But I'm not entirely sure if I'm not being hunted down by bugs. Whoa! Oh god! But I'm gathering a few basic materials because, as I said, this is the most dangerous time to be walking around. But we are getting closer and closer to our loot. I'm not sure if the night is the best time to do this at. Oh. Little aphids. Man, every- Your senses are heightened. Cause it's like, we're no longer top of the food chain anymore. This ant, if I was to accidentally swing on it or it got hungry, would call in its friends and overwhelm me. Oh. Okay, that's an ant. You never know, like, you can see something scurry scurrying by, and is it a spider? Is it one of those giant stink bugs that will basically emit chemical warfare on the area? I did manage to craft a spear, though. Oh, oh! That ant just destroyed that beetle! So it seems like hanging out with these ants seems to be a good idea for now. But when they see a threat, their eyes light up red. Thank you, I'll take that. Nothing. It's fine, we can be friends. Okay. Luckily, they aren't offended by thievery. I think I just heard the telltale signs and sounds of a spider. Oh! Do you see that? That shadow right there is a giant spider. Okay, I am out of there. What do you see, Mr. Ant? Is there anything dangerous on the horizon? What was that? What the heck was that? This is the weirdest thing. To see society so close, but to feel so removed from it. There's that spider again. Here's the entrance to the cave. Oh, thank goodness. Here's our backpack, so this is where we perished. And if you missed episode one, we explored this facility. So if you missed it, make sure to go check it out. Let's retrieve all. Now that should help, and what I'm trying to do is build a, a quick little sleeping pad so that I can sleep till daytime. Yes. Oh, that's the sound of the spider. Oh! Not again. I don't think we're supposed to be here. You're not supposed to be here. No one's supposed to be here. What can I craft to help me break out of this facility? Oh, I guess a workbench would be key. Yeah, this is... I. In order to build a workbench, I need a lot of grass planks. I'm not sure if it's glitched out or what, but the giant spider, like, knows we're here and, like, guards the door. Oh! Oh my god, I just freaked out and paused the game because my hand flared. So there he is right there. Can I... Oh my god, what, what am I supposed to do? This is very bad. You know what? Let me stab your leg. Oh, I got him! It's a wolf spider! <laughs> okay, just chill out. You stay there. I need to be able to lean to and try to sleep and see if he can't run away from me, maybe. Oh my gosh, I need one clover leaf? Because my lean to is out there? Guys, I think I've got to make a run for it. Do you see how futile that seems? I do have two spears, right? Ha! Okay, that did like nothing. And my spear stuck in his leg. Oh! Got him in the head! This might work, it just will probably take a while, and I'm not sure if I've got the durability. Run away. <laughs> Woo! You don't want none of this, do you? Oh, he ran away. Temporarily. Alert, you're thirsty. Uh, alert, I'm gonna die. He appears to still be out there. Woo! Woo! Look at him crawling up there. That's exactly- Oh my god, that's what a spider would do, wouldn't it? Okay. Oh, and he- Wait, there's two of them? Are you kidding me? Oh! Pete was mauled by a wolf spider. Uh, wolf spiders obviously are no joke. Our gear is over there. I'm not entirely certain we were supposed to be over there. Did we find that? I've got to get back to the basics over here, back where it's safe. Do some exploring around here. I'll get you guys caught up, because all of that gear we got is just gone. I think this is one of the weevils. You know what? Let's scan him. As far as I see, you're like... 
the equivalent of pigs, an animal that unfortunately is used to sustain other animals that are higher up on the food chain. So we'll analyze the weevil because I'm wondering, could we craft ant bait or something? No, a gas mask. Okay, well, that's still worth something. And then fiber, what are we gonna be able to get with this? Acorn shovels, and then we already know about sprig bows and eye patches. Interest. What do you use an eye patch for? I guess one thing I could do is explore part of the area that I haven't yet. That seems to be the best idea because I definitely want to get to a point where I've found all of these little these little tents, right? These little they're almost like makeshift science centers. So we'll follow this little trail. Maybe it was made by ants. Maybe by the people who had gone before me? Okay, what is this? Is this an ant mound? Please be an ant mound or a hole that doesn't have a giant spider in it. I'm going to need a torch. I need sap. It's in my backpack. We need to find sap, but unfortunately all we see is dry grass, which I'm not sure is gonna be a good source. Hey, look at that. These sticks usually have grass. Okay, note to self, this is where the sap is found. This is like the coolest game that's come out recently. Okay, I don't know what that sound was. Am I just destined to die? This isn't an ant mound at all, is it? Is it? Oh, what are these sounds? I'm gonna leave. Oh, there's a very strange noise coming from down deeper into this tunnel. And, oh, it's an ant. Oh God, he's got big mandibles. These are the bad ants. Can I craft a quick spear? I can. All right, I'll equip my spear. I think these are the army ants. Oh God, yeah, they are, look at that. Ah! Oh, he's a soldier ant. He just massively took my health down. Run, oh my God. Oh, it's a ladybug. <laughs> oh God, now the ladybug hates me. I'm sorry. Oh my God, the I'm getting chased by a giant ladybug. What is happening? Help me other ants. I need to find a way to mark this on the map though, because it it's an unknown location. Oh my God, look at this. Look at them. Just like, that is an army of ants against the weevil. Oh God, I'm fine. I'm one of your friends. I'm not weevil food. Look at, where did all these guys come from? This is incredible. His guts are everywhere. I'm gonna take that plant fiber in this one. Wow. Just a sense of exploration you get. What is that? Is that one of, the, are these stink bugs? There's multiples of them. There are three of them. Oh my God. Oh! <laughs> He just brutalized it. And the stink bugs, I can't tell if they're fighting each other or what. Oh my God, this is, this is, can you just imagine being this small? Whoa, what sort of, this is a prickly plant. Does this hurt? I got thistle needles. So over here on the far, I guess, Western reaches of the area on like, what's going on with this dust? Oh, okay, that's bad. Yeah, that's poisonous gas. We need to build a gas, wait, I learned how to make a gas mask. A gas mask requires gnat fuzz, woven fibers, and stink bug parts, okay. I have one weevil nose, but I'd have to get a lot more. <gasps> oh, another giant spider. Now what, is this a good idea? Yeah. Oh, he spouted me! Run! Don't look back, don't look back, just don't look back, just don't look back. Aphid, run, he's coming! I wasn't expecting that, needless to say, but at the same time, I'm not all too surprised that was the result of my terrible choice. I think I'm gonna have to drink some dirty water. It does drop my food considerably. Now, alert, you're hungry, great. Do we see any sources of food anywhere? Oh, there's some honeydew nectar. It is definitely better than starving, which is what we were going to die from. There are too many giant spiders in this game. That is for dang sure. So we found the swampy swamps, and now the only real food I'm aware of is honeydew nectar and mushrooms, and I'm not seeing any. Ants, have you found any food? Oh, he's hunting. I guess I could try to eat this aphid. Come here. Oh. Yes! Can I eat the aphid? Raw aphid meat, stuffed aphid, okay. I can craft aphid meat if I can get... I need mushrooms, guys. A big pond. Oh, and there's a spider. Of course there is. And there's two of them. Great. I'm running out of food. There's so many ants. What are you guys doing over here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. We're friends. There's a stink bug fighting a s another giant spider? 
Oh my god, they're battling. I don't want to be around here to see what happens. I mean, I do. It's a giant spider versus two stink bugs? Three? Stink bugs come in groups, okay. <gasps> There's some flowers. They've got to have some form of honeydew, I think. Good news is, oh god, I see it. Okay, there's some honeydew in ample amounts around here. I'm starving, I'm, I think I'm about to die. Okay, it does give a little bit of sustenance. So with all the plant fibers you could craft, I think it's bandages? Well, I've got a crafted band, what is that shadow? Oh my god, it's just, oh god. It's gonna be nighttime soon. I've gotta build a lean-to. This is like a survival show, isn't it? I'm not certain if I have what we need though, but this is where you wanna go for nectar. Yeah, I have nothing. I need clover leaves to build this lean-to. We might just have to wander more in the darkness. Fortunately being satiated and having a considerable amount of goods that will help us in terms of food and thirst. I'm not even sure if I can get around over here yet. I don't know if we can swim. All right, we're, we're going swimming. I need to cross this before nightfall. Please don't be any snakes. Oh my God. I really hope there's no snakes or like water bugs. Yeah, cause underwater looks creepy and murky. Yes, okay, we made it to shore. And unfortunately we're actually close to the two wolf spiders that ate us. I, oh, this is clover. That's perfect, I need a lot of clover. What's that noise? Do you hear that? 60 meters from two wolf spiders. Not, they're freaking terrifying. Yeah, so once again, for context, that is a juice box. That is how big a juice box is, and you know how small those things relatively are. Please, give me some Kool-Aid, man. Oh, the raw weevil meat's spoiled by now. I think it's time to craft a lean-to and sleep the night away. But I need one more sprig. Should be easy to, enough to find. It is brutal at night. Ooh, fresh water. Okay, that's a spider web. That's bad news. And I can see, I think it looks like two spiders over there. I can't tell if they're fighting or if they are the same species and they're working together. Either way, I need to find a sprig. I'm in such a dangerous area. All I'm finding is plant fibers too. There's a sprig. Well, I think we could put the lean-to right in front of this. Use it as kind of like a natural barricade so spiders wouldn't see us. We'll craft this lean-to. We'll overlook this beautiful, albeit creepy, and it's time to go to sleep. And it's 6 a.m. Now we woke up a little bit thirsty and a little bit hungry. Oh, here we go. This is this is good. So this definitely is a good area to get- Oh, you see all those leaves moving? Yeah, that's a giant spider. We need to get out of the most dangerous area of the map. Time to get out of here. Oh god, giant spider over there. Oh god. Oh, he's coming this way. That's that's a wolf spider. That could be the wolf spider. Literally just running as fast as I can away. Threat engaged? What threat? Oh, it's a mite. Okay, fine. So at this point, we've seen two different armies of ants and more spiders than I care to count. Ooh, but it's a shortcut. To what? To mushrooms! If something can move grass that much, it's gotta be big. What are you? Oh, a ladybug. Thank the heavens above. And then we made it back to the apparatus where the lasers were. This is where it all went down. Then I need to find a science tent. Thistle needles. Can I build? I feel like this is how I build arrows. Spike, strip, and spiky sprig. Okay. So I think I need something that can smash. A slime mold torch. That's weird. Oh, I need a hammer. That's what I need. That would make sense, wouldn't it? That's weird. I, I thought we just crafted it and now I don't have access to that in my inventory. But what on earth is that? Some science. Wow. Uh, all right. We'll take you, thank you. So we've already explored that way. I think we should go south on the map. See what we can't find over there. There's this giant rake. Well, this is a nice easy way to be transported around the map and see what's going on. That's the fumigated area where there's poisonous gas so you can't really explore over there. There's something up here. Doing a little bit of hardcore parkour here. Oh no, I fell. Alert, low health, danger. So we should probably craft a fiber bandage and use some of these to get our health back up. I think by using one, it should generate the health. Yep, there we go. Look at those jet health spikes. Cause whatever that thing is, I don't know if it wants to fight, but if it does, I want to go in. There we go with full health. Okay, are you friend or foe? You are foe. Oh, well that's acid. Okay, goodbye forever. Oh my gosh, he shoots bubbling acid. Why is everything on this planet trying to kill me? Oh really, you're a, you know what? I ain't scared of you. Oh my god, there's just an army of mites over there. I, I, I want nothing to do with that. This is terrifying out here. More mites. 
Uh oh. Oh god. It's roving mites. I have the endurance to run away, so that is exactly what I'm going to do. Bravely, bravely, bravely running away. What is this? A giant bucket of paint? There's something up ahead. What is this? A hot? This is a half-eaten hot dog. So many sprigs. Oh, beautiful. A field station. Excellent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is it? Whatever it is, I think it's in the log. Oh, God. No, it's not. They're mites. Okay. Don't come get me. I'm gonna try to analyze some... I can't analyze anything. Look at this. This is like a mother load of sap. Uh-oh. Spiders and mites. This is what you'd call a dangerous area. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is a spider nest! Run! Oh my gosh. He was right under me and I had no idea. It's, it's just too much. I'm gonna need to build a base soon, I think. Because my inventory is almost full. Oh, look at this. There's a tunnel going underneath this log. And I'm just gonna... What is this? I never know what this thing is. It's the creepiest thing. Alert, you're thirsty. I think we can fix that with some of this. This is the mite caves. And this is the baseball. I feel like it's definitely time to craft the workbench. But I need to find a nice cleared out area. Preferably centrally located as well. In order to do that, we'll need three grass planks timber all right i've got i should have them now construct now i'll put it right out front of this tent and voila what can i craft here oh my gosh i think it's most of the things i can craft i guess armor glue would be good okay we got some of that what is that maybe i need to scan the armor glue no a roasting spit would probably be helpful all right light it up and what can i cook Nothing? I thought I couldn't craft mite fuzz. A storage basket would be super helpful. So here's our storage basket. Oh, look at this. Okay, so now I can store a lot of goodies in here, like maybe most of my extra stuff. Don't need that. I guess we could keep the spoiled meat in there now. Maybe that's why I can't really cook it. I feel like I should be able to craft mushrooms or like cook mushrooms up, right? Well, what else can we do? Pallets? The trail markers, which I can now use. I've got a few traps. Oh, a canteen would be very useful, but we need grub hide, and I don't believe I've seen any grub. That can be used to carry two scoops of liquid to transfer to storage or slurp. Yeah, I don't have anything I can cook yet. Let's let's see if we can't find one of those aphids. Or a weevil. I'm, now, all of a sudden, it's like I'm not seeing a single insect. How is that possible? An ant is going after the weevil. Okay, I need that weevil. This is my food. Where's the weevil meat? Weevil meat, okay. And here it is, making it back home. Hopefully in time for supper. Weevil, cook it. And look at that, it's it's turning on an open fire. Weevil roasting on the open fire. I wanna eat it, I wanna eat it, I wanna eat it now. That's cool, maybe we'll have to craft a few of these. Weevil roast. Oh wow, that was full food bar. So cooking is definitely advantageous. So we've got the very beginnings of what will soon be a fortress. I'm thinking we might build the fortress around this tent and this cooking spit and crafting bench. Or we could look elsewhere, but I'm gonna have to gear up and try to kill a spider, try to get a stink bug. There's a lot of insects out there and a lot more to learn about the undergrowth here. So if you guys wanna see more Grounded, let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.